fat animals and I went to Tractor Supply, that's about it. Good morning everybody, how you doing today? I'm Dad. Hi, I'm Daniel. My name's Andrew, I'm one of the Veggie Boys and I want to thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, why not subscribe? We can do a lot of things on the farm, but one thing we can't do is grow this channel without your help. I caught a kitty. Welcome back everyone. It's so nice to see you. Everything on the farm is sloppy today. We went from almost getting two feet of snow to five inches of rain. So our area has been dealing with a lot of flooding and we even had more snow. So just a lot of moisture. I haven't updated you guys on the laying hens lately. The older laying hens, they're laying really well. It's very obvious that they're slowing down. As they start to get older, it's not cost effective to keep those older hens so we always cycle in new hens after a few years. Now with these new hens, you guys may have remembered when we got them, they've grown quite a bit. I think they're at around 14 weeks. Now these chickens will start to lay eggs around 20, 22 weeks. So everything's looking really good. Their water is not freezing up the way it used to. Something else we've done, we added in these round hanging feeders. We have five different ones in here just so the chickens can spread out to eat. We like these a little more than the feeders that sit on the ground. Another thing we like about the round feeders is when we fill them up, they hold a lot of grain, so we're not constantly filling them. If we fill all the feeders, we can wait three, even four days till we have to feed them again, and that's something we really like. Something we have done on the farm is we switched over to our winter hours. Now the farm market's open all year, however we've switched the days on which we are open. And the whole reason for that is because the girls have been working so hard all year. With everything that's been going on, we had such a busy year, everyone worked so hard, we wanted to give them a few extra days off. So that's something new I could share with you guys. And we got a whole new cooler put in here. We used to have a different cooler here, it was a two door cooler, but we were having trouble with it. There's a little fan underneath there that helps to cool the motor and the fan had went bad so we were having trouble keeping our cooler running. And like we said, it's been a really busy year so we could use the extra cooler space. Now there are a lot of doors to get into our farm market. But how many doors do you think that cooler could fit through? <laughs> None. So what we ended up doing was going through our cooler with the cooler so we had a cooler inside our cooler and then we moved the cooler out there. We are so happy we got these big double doors. A lot of the farm markets in the area actually close down for winter because it's not busy enough, but we're open all year round. The local people in our area like to stay close to home. They like to shop locally, so they really appreciate that we stay open all year. Something we've neglected recently is cleaning up around our grain bins, so that's what we're going to do real quick. A lot of this mess comes from us feeding our animals and a lot of grain will just fall onto the ground. And rather than taking this stuff and just throwing it away, I'm actually going to give it to our laying hens. Um, they can pick through it, they can scratch through it, and they can eat all the grain that we lost. Shh, don't tell dad we're stealing his shovel. Just don't tell him because he gets upset when we take his shovel. if you can see down in their feeders but their feeders are over half full the reason why I do that is not because they're hungry it's just to give them something to do chickens like to scratch they like to look through things and dumping the corn in here it, it lets them do that hey it's not perfect I mean I wouldn't eat off of it but now that grain won't go to waste now to put dad's shovel back before anyone sees us we don't have much going on today so I came up to the germination greenhouse I was just doing some looking around, making sure everything was okay with all the weather that we've been having. As I mentioned, this is our germination greenhouse. So if you remember back to when we were harvesting all of our vegetables, all those peppers, tomatoes, everything came through this greenhouse. And the way we're able to do that is this machine right here. I'm not exactly sure what the name of it is because it's so old that all of the writing has fallen off of it. But this machine allows us to seed thousands and thousands and thousands of plants. The way this machine works 
is you turn on a vacuum and it sucks the seeds to each one of these little holes. Now the trays on these things are replaceable. So we have a 98 on here and then we also have 512s. Now the reason behind the number is this puts 98 seeds in one tray. And then the 512s, they put 512 seeds in a tray. You guys are gonna learn a lot about what we do when we start planting. This is the 512, this is the 98. We mostly use these 512s for when we're seeding our vegetables. However, when we plant our vegetables into the field, we like them in these 98s. The reason why, it allows the plant to get bigger, allows the plant to get stronger. We don't plant them from the smaller tray because they don't have the root system that we need. That's why we transplant them into the larger trays. And the reason we really like these 512s for sales is because we can plant 512 of one kind of tomato, 512 of another kind of tomato, and then we will transplant these into different trays that we'll use for selling in the farm market. This machine is just so helpful and I can't even stop and think of how many plants have come through just this machine right here. It just, oh, maybe it's just me, but I am getting excited for vegetable season already. It's winter time. If anyone's curious how Matt's apartment is doing, we've got everything finished. We've got the garage all completed and dad was just working on some stuff on the inside. So my aunt and uncle used to live in this apartment, but now Matthew, because he got married, this is going to be his apartment where he lives. I get asked a lot in the comments if we all live on the property or if we live scattered all over the place. The only people who don't live on the property is Joel. Joel lives like two minutes away. Dad told me he wanted to feed calves to finish up for tonight. So now we're gonna go feed calves. Did you take my shovel? How did you know? It's missing. It's right there. No, it's not where I left it. You've heard me mention that we've been dealing with a lot of moisture and the cafeteria is taking a hit from that. Although it's been wet, we're doing a pretty good job at keeping everything dry. Just this wet spot right in the middle. That's the only problem that we've been seeing. You can see we got our two babies on this end. Their pens are nice and dry. The only problem we're seeing is just where we seem to be walking. There you are, Matilda. There you are, Lena. There you are, Daisy. No, Sophia's down on the end. I fed her already. Now this pen stay in the cafeteria is almost up. They're all basically large enough to put outside with the larger cows. Uh, we're just holding off for a couple more days just because it's been so wet. But these guys are soon gonna be kicked out of this cafeteria and out in pasture with the bigger cows. You stole my glove. Right out of my pocket. You're a thief. Right out of my pocket you stole my glove. Yeah, what are you gonna do with your glove? You don't even have hands. Huh? You don't even have hands. You don't even have hands. So who dumped all this sawdust here? Now who's making messes? I did. My helpers don't show up to work. They're like Lefty, where's he been? I haven't seen him in weeks. Daniel, these pens all need sawdust put in tomorrow because they're dry, they're wet. Okay. Sometimes I have to yell. Sometimes I have to wave my arms just to get things done around here. Alrighty guys, it's time to see what we're having for dinner. Mama, what are we having? We're having stir fries. Stir fries for dinner. And look who's setting the table. All right, guys, this is where we're going to end the video today. I want to thank everyone for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye Bye-bye. Bye-bye.